Hey guys, it's Jay. Today I'm going to do another pet haul on some stuff that I picked up today. Um, it's not much, it's just a little bit of creativity when it comes to the guinea pigs and some stuff I picked up for the hamsters in a cage. And a little bit of food and stuff for the cats. So here we go. Okay, so one of the last things I picked up today was this bird cage. It's actually a pet's of home and it's called a sweet basket. I think that's how you say it. Um, I've already reorganised the cage bit here. Um, I loosened, loosened, I loosened it off so that I could get the chain off um, and that just, I made it so that it clicked on here so I can hang it in the cage and they can eat out of there just thought it, I just thought it would be good to hold some hay it was only £1.29 so I couldn't resist the second thing I got was this Christmas now everything's Christmas themed now, so this was a Christmas call that I seen in B&M Bargains and surprisingly it was only 89 pence and I was going to go for the hat but I remembered that I already had the Christmas hat but Midnight doesn't like the Christmas hat on him so I was like maybe I could go for a Christmas collar and I maybe try and keep it on this time that was only 89 pence, well worth it I could, yeah, you've got bells and everything on it, it's amazing and um, another thing I got at Midnight was this Flicker ball, I've not tried them with this yet. It's touch sensitive and it flashes um, all different colours. It's supposed to attract them, so I will wait and I will see if it attracts them or not. Um, and find out. You get the wee plastic hang for it and you can put it back in and it stops it from running out of it. But that will stay out eventually. The next thing I got was mealworms. Um, Peaches loves these, but I couldn't find anywhere that done this size of bag, it was always big like £5 on tubs and that's just too much for me um, and you have to give me your hands and stuff with this I can just pour them in a cage and yeah she can eat them from there, I'm not really into picking them up. I got this little boredom breaker from The Range, um, they do them in Wilco's and they do them in other places but The Range is by far the cheapest place to get them, this size was only 49 pence the bigger size was 129 and the bigger size than that was 149 I think. Um, they're the cheapest that I've seen them so far. Peach, uh, Peaches destroys these so <laughs> give her to all the troops but it's a new cage and I need new stuff for her cage because I don't have much anymore. Um, I gave some stuff away and some other stuff got lost I think. Um, I did have quite a lot of hamsters though. I got some more hamster food and this 5 litre bag of natural glitter is from being in bargains, uh, it's really cheap out of there, it's like 119 for 5 litres so that does me for the guinea pigs whenever I need it for the hamster and I use it for the cats actually sometimes as well, just for a change. It's good, I like it around about this time of year because it's kind of, when it's in the litter tray or it's in the cages and you can see it, it's kind of Christmassy so it, I don't know, it, it just looks good. I got this size of bag of cat rifle. He loves go cat, that's why I went for go cat because he loves go cat. I do check the bags for how much meat content is in it and fibres and stuff like that because you need to watch when you're buying dry food that you don't buy the one that's full of rubbish for them. So, yeah, that one is great. It was only £8 out of pets at home. Cheapest place I've seen it and it was 4 kgs, so it costs around about £8 anyway for about 4 kgs of the um, 2 kgs and 2 kgs made 4 obviously and it costs about £4 a bag so it just works out the same. Okay guys well that is all I bought today and um, can I show you something else that isn't pet related? Bought these and these are called Festive Spice and they're glitter tea lights like they are so cute. Oh my god they're so cute. Look at that. The glitter, I don't know what I've not melted any yet but they smell amazing. I don't know if the glitter will disappear when I melt them or if it will just float about and then go back to being glitter again or if the glitter is all the way through the woods, I don't know. I've not lit one yet to see but they look amazing in my living room because I have them on my tea light stand and I have it in my wee tea light holder. Bye! Don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe.